So hey guys, Magnus Robert here, doing a bit of a different video, kind of tap-tap related, but also kind of not. Um, I'm going to be honest, I sort of stole this, I blatantly stole this idea from TED2001, pretty much. So you can guys go check out TED2001. To be fair, I was planning to do something like this, but then he did it first. Oh, pesky little bar. Pesky little guy stole it from Nana. No, 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 I'm not. Um, I'm not saying no. He didn't. He didn't steal. He did it first. Fair and square. Fair enough. Um, but I'm going to take it from him. So definitely go check out Ted's video. I will leave Ted's uh, video where he does this same topic. But I'm just going to blatantly steal it. So, um, <laughs> but I'm sure he'll be fine with it. Um, because I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to feature him on this list. Um, so. Today, guys, we're going to be doing the top five, uh, top five tapped out YouTubers, and talking about my. Basically, I'm not going to say I'm going to. I'm not doing it in order of my favorite. I'm going to do it in order of person I sort of discovered last and the person I discovered first. Um, but I've got some honorable mentions. But before I do the honorable mentions and get into the actual list, I want to just quickly, briefly talk about this podcast. So me, DTF. Um, was it one two eight something? Like that? <laughs> I don't. I don't like <sighs> one two eight. Yeah, DTF one two eight. No, I wasn't gonna say I don't like. I don't like. I don't like numbers. I can't. I can never memorize numbers. She's seeing my pin number. I cannot. I cannot remember it. Um, yeah, DTF one two eight is the number. <laughs> I just got. I just say. DTF, but um, just for sure, uh, we've got Ted 2001, Ted 2001 is easy though, uh, that's a date, um, me, Ted 2001, uh, Nuclear Video HD, and DTF128, uh, we all were in this podcast together where we were talking about tapped out related stuff, talking about tapped out, um, stuff, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> yeah, talking about tapped out stuff basically, um, and um, and other stuff from stuff about our channels, probably our YouTube. I mentioned it in the other video, but I will put the link in the description below to go watch that. So there'll be two video links. The first video link will be the podcast. The second one will be Ted's video on this same topic. So, but let's get into this video. Um, I just thought I needed to mention that real quick. Um, anyway, whew, I'm two minutes in. I need to get get to this list. So first of all, we'll just do some quick honorable mentions. The first honorable mention is Casey Loves Gaming. Um, now I have watched this guy's channels before. I'm not a massive. I'm just gonna say I'm not. A big fan. I don't want to, well, I, I mean, I, I, I like some of his videos, but he does like Family Guy Quest for stuff, and he, he recently does like Avengers videos and stuff like that. He does tapped out as well, though. You know, he talks about the uh, different things. Um, he's, he's okay. I don't really watch his channel, though, very regularly, but a lot of, I know a lot of you guys do. He, he's technically the most subscribed, uh, you know, tapped out YouTuber who does, you know, tapped out stuff consistently, um, and hasn't just done it as like a one-off. So he is the, the most subscribed guy. So, you guys can watch him. I'm, I'm. It's, it's not my taste, not my cup of tea. But I, the guy's quite nice. He's, he's, um, from what I can see, you know. So you can check him out. But I, I just don't really like. Um, I'm not, I'm not a massive fan. Not to say I don't like him. I do. I, you know, I just, I'm just not a massive fan of his channel. Um, you know. Um, anyway. The other honourable mention is dun, 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 Magnus Roberts. So this guy's pretty good as well. Um, he does um, really good tapped out videos, but I just couldn't really put him in the list. I just don't think he is worthy for the top five. Uh, so basically, this guy does like he does um, like like ranked lists, and he does like really he's, like stupid. They're really retarded, really. He does these completing categories videos, which I really don't like. But um, he does some pretty cool ranked videos, and he does reviews, which is a bit weird. You know, he doesn't really talk about individual items. He just does, like, reviews of the whole thing, which is a bit weird. I didn't really want to include him on the list because, I don't know, I just don't think he's, he's um you know, he's, he's not that amazing of a YouTuber. So I, I put I put him as an honorable mention. But we'll get into the list now. And like I said, this isn't the list in my favorite. I'm not I'm not saying that the, the, the number one is better than number five. I'm just saying that I'm going to do it in order of how I found these guys. So number five will be the one I found the most recently. Um, and then we'll go in that order. Because um, I think that's fairer. So then I can talk about general good things about the channel. And then I might just add a little 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 criticism just just to be rude no I, I i won't i won't i won't be rude i'm just gonna say one one thing um just just to not and, and please um if the five people who i put the channels on <laughs> please feel free to give me some criticism i love a good bit of criticism but anyway number five number five is tsto talk or his, his name is also called sam or happy tapper he's got a really nice channel now he's actually the, the mo he is the he is the most recent one i've kind of discovered at least i think anyway yeah he is the most recent uh but he 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 um 
I only has 50 subscribers, so I mean, if you guys want to, I, w I would pretty, I would, I would, I would say go and go and check them out because it's not often I give shout outs and talk about channels that, um, don't, well, don't have, <laughs> don't have at least 100 subscribers. I very rarely talk well, because I, I, I don't know, I, I think that's just the thing. You're never gonna get PewDiePie talking about um, a channel with, you know, a uh, thousand subscribers. So I, I, so I don't see why I, I with my nearly 900 subscribers have to talk about this but no i'm joking but i do think he is a really really good channel really really nice channel it's got um you know some pretty cool videos recently he did a q a he's got you know stuff like uh, he does like uh, event ideas as well as well as me he does um you know discussion topics he talks about different updates he does like a, he did a first impressions for the secret agents for example so and he does like design stuff as recently uh, he's also heavily involved with the Tapped Out UK, which is a really cool website if you're in the UK and you play Tapped Out and you're a Simpsons fan. Um, it is a cool website. It's, it's got a nice layout and stuff. I don't. I try and go on it as much as I can, but recently I just really haven't found the time. But um, I do. I'm also there as well, so you can always go friend me on there and you can chat with me if you want. Um, if I get around to it, which I probably won't. <laughs> well, I'll try to anyway. But he's really involved with that, and that's probably why I think he's really good. The only thing I would I probably I'd probably have to say to Sam is. You need to upload more um, because they are some really, really good, good videos. They are good quality. They're laid out really good. The thumbnails are brilliant. You know, there's all kinds. Of, they are really well structured. I just think the only criticism um, for Sam is upload more. Um, but apart from that, you've got a really nice channel and he, does, he definitely deserves uh, way more subs. Anyway, number four. Number four is Look in the Hedgehog. So Look in the Hedgehog is um, another YouTuber that I probably recently discovered. I think I discovered him just after probably like the same sort of day of the person who's on number three i, I found them quite recently because i didn't really want to i didn't really at first really watch any uh other um you know youtube channels but i watched Lorcan the hedgehog and he's got some really interesting videos he does he's recently he's been doing the futurama let's plays which i've been actually been watching because um i don't i can't get futurama uh worlds of tomorrow yet so i've been watching his let's plays for that and they're pretty good i just wish he had more parts <laughs> um to that, to that series, um, but he, yeah, he, he does his let's plays. He does the kind of standard. I, I don't want to say standard let's plays, but yeah, the standard let's plays. Um, basically, um, you know, talking about like, go doing the different things. He also does Simpsons reviews, which I think think are quite interesting. They're not like um, it's just pretty much like a podcast style where he'll just talk about his opinion and talk about the different episode and talk about things that happen in it. And you know what, I think. Um, they're pretty good. He also did like a characters I would like to see in as playable characters in The Simpsons Tapped Out. I really like that video. I thought it was a really good video. Um, you know, he does some really cool discussion videos um, and, you know, reviews um, <clears throat> other than the thing. I don't know what my criticism would be for Lorcan. Um, I'm trying to think. What would I say? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, just keep up the good work, I guess. I can't think of anything. You know what? I can't think of anything for the top three. Um, wait, for the top for the top four? Yeah, it was just pretty much for TSTO talk. Sorry, TSTO talk. Um, I just want, I really like his videos, TSTO talks. So that's why I want him to upload more. Not not because I'm saying he's he's a crappy YouTuber. I'm saying I just want to see his videos. I really enjoy them. So, um, anyway, number three, number three is DTF one two eight. Now I sort of discovered him like the same sort of path as Logan Hedgehog. Because like I said, I knew of their channels. I just didn't really watch them. But DTF two uh, one two eight. He did videos a while back. He's quite a big YouTuber as well. Uh, quite a big, quite a big. Subscriber subscribed one anyway he's got three thousand he's just over three thousand nearly three thousand well basically three thousand one hundred at this current time um the only problem again and probably the same criticism would go to him is he needs to upload more because they are really really good videos as well i especially like the ones because uh he took like a big break and then recently all of his videos got really really professional they're really really well done well edited well designed and all that stuff and they are just really really enjoyable to watch um um, yeah, and he's the guy who obviously came up with this whole podcast thing, so that's pretty cool, you know, getting, you know, I, I like the guys who get involved with the community, <laughs> and you know, he does discussion videos as well and stuff like that as well, he did um, the nighttime mode where he talked about that, and he did some stuff on the NASA Trappist, the Tra Trappist 1 stuff and all that, and um, you know, um, he did like lyric pranks, oh, the reacting to old videos, I like that video, that was pretty good, um, so yeah, really cool videos that he's done, and you know, he, again, the only criticism is, same as Ta Sam, is upload more, because <laughs> they are really, really good videos, and I do enjoy them, uh, anyway, number two, number two, I'm actually putting Ted2001, which is a bit weird, because he's actually got, uh, but he's probably, the, I would say, yeah, um, the second one that I still watch, uh, probably the second channel I still watch to this day, that I discovered, um, 
and I really do like Ted's channel. It's pretty good. He does the sort of standard stuff, though. Um, I guess <laughs> that's different. Yeah, he does the standard, the standard uploading the things. But he does sometimes when he like uh, he's had a few videos where he'll actually uh, place all the stuff and he'll sort of he'll actually design. Well, yeah, he does that quite a bit. Where he actually designs the the stuff as well. Well, I've seen that a few a few ones. But uh, and and shows his designs off and stuff like that. He's done other videos as well. Like he did a 500 subscriber special, which was pretty funny with the whole basketball thing. Um, he used to do this shout out Saturdays. I don't know if he's still doing that, but that's pretty nice. I like guys again. You know the guys who give back to the community and and, and give shouts to the community. It's pretty cool to see. Um, you know, but he does the standard reviews. I mainly I just like I like Ted because we've done uh, two collab. Well, technically three. No, technically four collaborations together now. We did, of course, that very first one we did last year where we did the mega list with the events. We did another one together recently where we talked about the uh, events. And, of course, then we also did the Christmas one. Uh, not the Christmas one. The Tapped Out Wards one, but which we did alongside Nuke and Lorcan. And then, of course, most recently we did the podcast, which we did alongside DTF and Nuke. So, honestly, I've known Ted for a while, and Ted is the one I've been in contact with for a while. And Ted was probably the... F well, Ted was the first uh, YouTuber that... You know, I got with con contacting uh, other YouTuber outside my sort of friends that um, I got in contact with, um, yeah, on YouTube, <laughs> um, and we did videos together. Well, we did a collaboration together, which was really really cool. So that's why I'm putting Ted as number number two, not because of subscriber, not because just just mainly because because he's just a great guy. Um, but I'm gonna put number one as like we have that drum roll anyway. But I think you guys know who it's gonna be. I'm just going to put Nuclear Videos HD. Now, I haven't really been in contact with Nuclear Videos HD for very long, so I, I can't say that. I, I have been on, in contact with Ted longer, but the main reason I'm putting Nuke as, as number one, or, or I'm just, I'm again, I'm, it's not because I if I like them more. I'm not saying, I'm not going to tell you which one out of these five channels I like the most. I won't tell you that. I'm not saying it is Nuke, but I have watched Nuke for years. Now, I, I found Nuke uh, back, or, or Matt, if you want to call him, uh, I found him way back when he did a video on the glitch with the Quickie Mart, which basically lets you have uh, donuts and uh, minus donuts and you know you could buy stuff i watched i found him back then i think it was back then um i first found it but it might have been actually later than that it might have been earlier than that even not later earlier than that i'm not too sure though but i watched it when he did that video that video has unfortunately been taken down rose uh ages ago it got taken down but um i've been watching him since then and i honestly i just think um you know he's got a really good channel um He's been around for years, and I mean, you know, the main reason is he's been around for years. That's the that's the main reason. He's been like kind of the, the um, I guess the what do you want to call it, the founding father of Tapped Out YouTuber. Um, no, there probably was people who uploaded the videos before him on Tapped Out, but he's the one who's the only guy who sort of stuck with it all this time. I don't know when Casey Loves Gaming actually started. I'm not too sure, but Nuke stuck with it for all this time, doing every little tiny thing, talking about, you know, things that don't even matter, to be honest. But he's he's always done a video talking about it, which is pretty cool. And, you know, he's stuck with the community for all this time. Uh, while there's been other YouTubers like Harvey Dent and Tapped Out Gaming who, who's, who were pretty good and then they just sort of flew away. They, they just disappeared off the face of the map. Nuke, Nuke's st stuck by uh, all these times. And that's why I'm putting him as number, uh, saying he's number one, mainly because I found him, uh, you know, ages ago. And to be honest with you, if it wasn't for Nuke, I might not be doing Tapped Out. I'd probably be still doing gaming videos and have like 100 subscribers because I, I, I only did those Tapped Out Ideas videos because of Nuke's Ideas videos that he did ages ago, uh, where he did like part one and part two and then he ended it, which I really wished he would do more. That's my criticism for Nuke. Do more idea videos. Well, I guess it's a bit irrelevant now the levels are gone, but still, they were they were cool, those Ideas videos. And you know, they, they, they sort of inspired me to do the ideas videos, and I probably wouldn't have do bothered doing the ideas, and without doing those ideas videos that I did, that I wouldn't have got, I wouldn't have been, you know, further encouraged to do my level reviews, and then I probably would never have done Tapped Out whatsoever, because I wouldn't have known there was much views in it, and I'd probably still be doing gaming, and that's probably why I'm going to put Nuke there, that's the only reason I put Nuke there, again, not because I like it, I'm not saying I like his channel anymore, I might secretly hate Nuke's channel, but I'm not saying that either, I don't want to, I don't, at the same time though, I don't want to, I don't want to kiss anyone's ass, I don't want to feel like I'm kissing anyone's ass, so I'm, I'm just going to, just going to leave it there, um, I'll just say, he, may, he inspired me to do the ideas videos which may or may not have resulted in me actually doing tapped out i mean i might not have been doing tapped out 
at all if it wasn't for him. So, um, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this like kind of video where I just sort of kiss five YouTubers' asses. Nah, I'm joking. But no, they are all good YouTubers. I link all their channels. Well, all their channels are always linked in my descriptions as of as of uh, like last month. I've always been linking their channels. So please go check out all five of them. Really good guys. Um, also, maybe check out the honorable mentions: Casey Loves Gaming and Magnus Robert. I'll just I'll leave their I'll leave them in the description as well. I've got a big description, but whatever. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. Goodbye.